Hello and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It's now Friday the 26th of June. Uh, heading home. Um, I was I was heading out a while back uh, and it started pouring horrendously with rain. Uh, and I kind of looked at it and thought, well, I'm going to have to park outside and then get out of my car in all that pouring rain. I don't really fancy that, so in the end I stopped and did a few more bits at work until the uh, the weather got slightly less miserable. So, um, this week it's been, well, it's been a very interesting week to be honest. Uh, Weather-wise I've been roasting, uh, literally me being cooked. <laughs> uh, yeah, scorcher this week. Certainly uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, exceptionally high temperatures. Tuesday it was supposed to be hot um, but then it was really overcast and like I think it was warm but there was no Sun it was just cloudy so I was a bit disappointed in that um, but then I got home because the Tuesday morning I'd been and bought a load of barbecue stuff expecting all the hot weather barbecue yes hot weather get out of the garden Get the sun on an evening and barbecue. Bought all the barbecue stuff, uh, and then I was thinking all day, oh, it's, it's not going to be sunny. Well, what, what's to do with that? So, uh, but then come four o'clock, the sun appeared, or the clouds disappeared, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, so, we had a lovely Tuesday evening barbecue. Uh, Wednesday, extremely hot all day I mean fortunately in work it's not that hot uh, it never gets that hot in work so um, I mean it was still you could tell it was warm but it's not like you go outside and it's heat blasts you like whoa that's hot uh, it's kind of relatively mild in work because it's such a big thick walled old building so Wednesday night had a good barbecue as well uh, last night, it was still really nice last night, sat out until probably nine o'clock-ish, um, basically until the sun disappears, and then it's about time to go in after that. Um, but I didn't have barbecue last night, um, <laughs> cottage pie for a change. <laughs> oh, you're a silly boy, aren't you? So you want to turn down there, come racing ahead. Eesh. What they like, what they like. So work's been good, um, ploughing on, um, getting on a lot and lot of roasted coffee orders again. It's amazing how much roasted coffee we're ploughing through at the moment. Um, I did a big roast on the 30 kilo, well six batches of the 30 kilo on Tuesday. Uh, so um, that was about another 110 kilos roasted, which is uh, Quite an impressive amount, considering I'm doing a lot of roasting with a small one as well. There's a heck of a lot of coffee going out per week. Uh, I should totally up at some point, but I'm kind of too busy doing another stuff working. So, um, so yeah, that's all been pretty good actually. It's been a bit head down, non-stop, just roast coffee, pack coffee. I think I'd have gone then, mate. Honestly, you've got loads of time left. So, um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been an interesting week. Last weekend, weather wasn't that great. Um, so I ended up going to work, as you do. Uh, did a load of tidying up, actually, at work on the Saturday. I was going to paint, I was going to paint, but I had my hair done, if you can tell. Um, and got all nice and showered and clean Saturday morning. I got to work, I was like, do I really want to start sort of painting and covering myself? Now I've just got all nice and clean, covering myself with paint and whatnot. And I thought, no, I'll not bother. I'll do some tidying up in day, said so. Covering myself in loads of dust and grot and muck. <laughs> that, that was a failure, wasn't it, really? Oh dear. But, um, yeah, it's, um, been all right so 
I'm going to go in and drop these parcels off and then I'll be back. I'm not sure if Mr. Nellis has done a words of wisdom or not. I'll have to check. So see you in a minute. Now is not the time for fear, Doctor. That comes later. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get this off because it's too sweaty to be wearing this thing. God. Oh, yes. Good old Batman returns. <clears throat> and Bane. It's the inspiration for my masks. So, no, oh, it's amazing, really. What are all those strange men's up to? Meddling with his bag next to me. Suspicious. Um, oh, there's a fly in my car. I know that isn't a euphemism. Uh, so yeah, that mask actually gets really hot on your face, uh, especially when it's a boiling hot day. Uh, <laughs> but to say that, the, um, he has air conditioning in the garage, so it's, it's quite nice to be in there. Last night I went in and there was a lady sort of printing labels and scanning for two parcels on the machine in there as I'd gone in. And as I'd got like 35 odd parcels, I thought, because once he starts scanning mine, then he couldn't do hers. You know, he's going to do the run of them. So I just carried all my parcels in and said to him, I'll, you know, we'll start once the lady's done hers, and why should be waiting forever for me for all these to be scanned. So um, just uh, waited a bit, and then loads of people turned up as well. So I'm just the way stood there with a massive pile of parcels in the aisle. Anyone was wanting the crisps and chocolate section, it looked like completely out because they're having to skim round all my boxes. I'm trying to get rid of this fly because it's rather annoying me. I've got a mocking mark on my windscreen I can do it getting rid of. Eee. So, uh, no Mr. Nellis's words of wisdom. I can't see any email from him. In fact, he's not emailed all week. I hope he's alright. Uh, he normally emails a lot, but then I, I'm very naughty and don't tend to reply very often because I'm a bit too busy. Sorry, Richard, but I'm busy. Um, and the trouble with emails is what, I kind of look at them and then think, oh, maybe I should uh, reply to that, do something else, forget all about it, and it's disappeared. Um, so unless I actually do it right away, the chances are it will just disappear into to the beyond. So, uh, so yeah, week, 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 the week at work has been all right. Um, oh, where have you gone? Oh, had a, yeah, had a few relatively late nights again, actually. Um, I don't know why. I, I did have a break from posting on Hive on Wednesday night. Um, uh, I think I was a bit worn out and it was hot and... I decided to uh, have an early night and watch Doctor Doolittle 2020 film, which actually wasn't bad, uh, except uh, Robert Downey Jr. kind of seemed to ham it up a bit more than I thought he would do. Um, and he kind of... Risk zone, speed limit, 30 miles per hour. I don't know, he, he kind of overdid it a bit on the English accent, if I'm honest. It wasn't... Because um, Holmes and Watson, when he did that, I think he got it spot on uh, for Sherlock Holmes, the English sort of accent. But I don't know for that do little one, I don't know, he just seemed to take it, a, it was a bit too theatrical, hammy kind of thing. It was a bit, I don't know. Uh, but on the whole, the film was alright. Uh, interesting premise, long travel, that sort of thing. So that was entertaining enough. Uh, then I think I started watching a Jason Statham film uh, and fell asleep, so... Um, I can't even remember what it was, actually. This is how tired I was. But I fell asleep. Um, I think it was another one as well that I fell asleep. Literally while it was on, while I got my earphones in and everything. So I woke up nearly strangled by my earphones. Um, but there you are, that's how life goes, isn't it? Long days, you get tired and fall asleep. Um, at least I'm not having any trouble sleeping at the moment, which is pretty good. So, I um, can't argue with that. 
So Hive blockchain, yep, it's all going on. Uh, so I've not done a post every day this week. I missed a day, but I've not been doing bad still. I've been pretty posting away all sorts of things. Um, did quite a fun one last night, which was a um, challenge post by Bliss11. Uh, did a challenge to do a, a selfie from five years ago. Or... Uh, sort of five years ago selfie or something I don't know yeah it was five years old I think you I think you were supposed to put like a, a modern way day one to compare to with it um, which I may have forgotten about because I got that involved in finding old selfies I must have ended up with about 25 damn pictures in the end it was ridiculous how many pictures I put in the post <laughs> um, I just kept finding music, and there were so many ones I didn't use because I thought they weren't that great, which is even more bizarre, really. I think you could have got past it. No, you know you left it too late, and you're getting the people turning around. Like, What's that? Oh, uh, no, this is the problem. Yes, that's all. Just a bit narrow here for bikes, to be honest. It's hard to get past them. So I may have forgotten in the end to actually put a, an up-to-date photo of me. But everyone should already know that because I'm always posting these selfies online. So uh, anyone that said, well, I don't know what you look like now. Look back about three posts and you'll find a selfie of me. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that went quite down, down quite well. I'll have to, I've not had a chance to put the comments on like that. I, I immediately posted that last night. Well, tried multiple times. It's been really annoying and I thought, just spent so long uploading, putting all this text in and everything, uh, and writing the story to it, and then it's not uploading, and I hope I don't lose it all, or I'm going to be completely gutted. Because it was probably a good couple of hours of effort to make that put it together. Um, so I was kind of like, Ugh. and then it wasn't the posting, it wasn't posting. Peak D kept saying there was some error. I don't know if my Wi-Fi didn't go off last night around then. Because I went upstairs and sort of had a look at it there. And I was going to try and repost it from the other computer. And then all of a sudden I started getting notifications saying that I got upvotes on a post. I was like, oh, it must have gone through because that's what people are voting. So, um, so yeah, that... That went well. Um, I'm currently waiting on the hive mind instance to. Uh, you, you, no, no, yes, no, no, he's a bit too tentative. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, you're like flashing at me because I waited for you and you didn't move. And then when you suddenly decided, oh, maybe I'm going to move now, I was already halfway past you. One born every minute. So, um, yeah, the hive mind instance, I've got that running now. I decided on a plan on. Uh, uh, now this one just kind of like pulls out when coming along. It's the day numpties all get out on the road, isn't it? Numpty day. It's actually quite nice now, pouring down. Like I say, absolutely siling it down, with flooding water coming out the drain. And now it's gone all dry again. You might sit out in the garden. In fact, I think I will. I'll do that. I'll sit out in the garden and enjoy the not raining. Uh, so, yes, Saturday morning I decided what I was going to do was run Hive Mind um, on the same server that I've got the fat node uh, synced on uh, because I thought that should be all right for handling all that kind of gubbins and then my plan is um, I've got obviously my primary witness which is 64 gigabytes RAM I've got my backup witness which is 48 gigabytes RAM and I've got now a 32 gigabyte RAM server that I'm going to use as the backup witness, use the backup witness as my primary witness, and then use the 64 gigabyte server, which is my primary witness at the moment, 
as the full, uh, oh no, not the um, count history node. And then that will give me hive mind and that node on one server and account history on the other. So that would be pretty good, I think. So that's pretty much a nifty little thing, though, isn't it? Your fair tears around on it. Um, have a good weekend, week next week, and I'll catch you in next week. Coffee vlog. Okay, see ya.